day four. Yeah, same story, got up really early this time. I mean, it was kind of uneventful even, just because like, how many times have we done this now? <laughs> uh, it was the final possible day of uh, launching, and it was the same day as the award ceremony, meaning uh, we have to launch in time for the judges to review our flight in time of the award ceremony. If not today, it will never happen. Look at that ass. The last time I saw the rocket was when I stood by it, when it was sold on the trailer. It was like seeing a child take its first steps. Uh, it was uh, Birk Lam's first and probably last flight. Took some last photos of it in the sunrise. I cannot say that I was sad or emotional about the moment because I had already done it like two times before. Uh, we can see here that pad AB is going yellow. Of the one team there, team number 60 from Norway on pad A4 must have started their arming sequence, sort of turning on electronics, getting ready to launch. So we will start with a salvo of one, team 60. But the weather was quite the danger for lunch. See how the sky and sun are looking now. This lower cloud layer is what's worrying for 30,000 feet. There are pretty much three criteria for having a launch. It's readiness of your rocket, having a clear range, meaning no bystanders are in, in, in range of being in danger, and clear sky. But then uh, we did not have a clear sky. Okay, so they said that they Leaving the rocket out all alone in the desert, it was quite a scary experience. We had to secure all the cameras and holes with tape so it wouldn't get wet. Like, yeah, this will probably defend against a little rain. Here's that rain approaching the spaceport. Our camera crew on top of the Connex is reporting a light drizzle is starting. University students traveled from around the world to launch rockets at Spaceport America for the Spaceport America Cup, but today's weather put a damper on today's plans. With rain coming down off and on throughout the day and a cloud cover like you can see behind me. No care not Cause we had a bad day Rangen, Rangen, Rangen Blot, blot, blot We hope på sist nevnte Men opplever først nevnte Det satt en støkk i I dagsformen, men Bad weather hits for a long time. <laughs> and it wasn't just bad weather, it was bad weather. It's so bad that we're pretty sure it actually broke part of our ground station systems. 
We used some Norwegian flags as like cover for the rain. So it was very stressful having a rocket either and not knowing that it's gonna launch. Little fizzle. What you do right there, little fizzle? Get away, little fizzle. Oi, ain't that? I'm gonna put your foot up, boy. The range team uh, from SA Cup had prolonged our launch window. Oh, okay. It's so boy. We turned off the music. Yeah, it would be there, epic too. <laughs> Good job! <laughs> One minute through. Is it uh, on? So, I don't... Yeah. Do we have yeah, connection? I don't see it necessarily now. You can uh, contact them if you want. Yeah. I just want to uh, say like, uh, everything is good. Red flag, red flag, we are flying. Team number 60, the Norwegian University of Science and Technology presents Propulse MTNU with the rocket Birkeland. Team number 60, the Norwegian University of Science and Technology is on pad A4. We are armed on pad A4. Thank you. 
third and last day, we were one of the last teams to launch. We had seen up to 90 launches before that. So believe it or not, it was kind of um, not as exciting to see our launch as I thought it would be. Anyways, uh, seeing it launched, knowing that this is the rocket that we have uh, worked on the last uh, months, sounds uh, crazy as always. Recovery, as everything else, just adds a bit more excitement than I think what our hearts like kind of can accept. <laughs> we drifted quite a ways. We're tracking it. And it's like, yeah, this is going good, but we lost GPS location of it, uh, like a kilometer uh, above the surface, uh, which is not the best. I can't have to visit the car a bit. Our recovery crew went out there, but they had received the wrong GPS coordinates. So they were looking for another rocket team's rocket, not our own. It's uh, small and it's red and red. It's, uh, red. it's running MM Unity. This is a running motor. That's at large. Black and white. Black and white, no. That's okay. So they were looking in the entirely wrong place. And when they get back, we are being told that the, um, they are closing down the range that people are heading to the awarding ceremony which is about to begin which we were also about to attend but our rocket is still out there oh it against uh, uh, cheerleading activity stop på tak med hjälp av stötte vi har kommit till uh, approximate location av uh, raketen uh, baserat på radiodata den blev väl cirka 200-300 meter under veien, som point her. Uh. But then we hear from um, Ola at uh, the Discord, uh, who says that, okay, some people has found our rocket. He got the coordinates and he got pictures. During uh, dusk, when the dark settled over the desert, we strolled out from our car into the desert where we had concluded that the rocket most likely uh, laid. They have got the fire to do something. And we're going to lead the way. So we go out there, go to the location. Pigge, I said. We are there. We have eyes on the enemy. We found the rocket. Well, let's see now. It has the split test it's supposed to do. Oh, do not run, need to do this. not run. Let's take a look here now. Yeah. Oh, it's completely... Oh. Anders has slapped it, it's official. Oh. And it was not Damn, too nice. far away from where we had plotted it. Yeah. It's like kind of at one edge, but uh, still. Oh, we still have light in here. Everything is uh, off. Oh, oh, look at this. We have a fucking skeleton right beside the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Is that the sign or some sort? And this was fish nice was this. Which, which part do you like the best? That's up to you guys. This is your rocket. <laughs> Let's go with that. Yeah. Uh, it does look more pretty. Yeah. I'm just here to keep you guys safe. This is your rocket. Tarantula. Uh -huh. yeah. Hell yeah. Tarantula hawks. We arrived to the convention centers right after the, the award ceremony had ended. The judges were heading home after the ceremony was over and we arrived at that very moment. So we caught them actually going out to their cars in a parking lot. The, they seemed pleased that we'd found it. Happy for us. I think the one judge asked, are you guys sure you have launched this thing? Because yeah, it looks exactly like it did uh, yesterday. So the exact same day as we had launched, we packed up our stuff, ready the, the rocket and tools and stuff for, for shipping back to Norway the very next morning. The downside of that is that we didn't get any sleep, meaning the day, the, the, the pinnacle of being tired was that day uh, and you couldn't sleep. Uh, and when we shipped that uh, beauty away, we were free, you can say. After SA Cup was vacation time. As 
a whole, the project itself was, I should say, very hectic. It's something that I wasn't expecting from the beginning of it. Being able to build a rocket and just be with your team and socialize in a group that is as interested as you are in the same topic and actually create something out of it was, I would say, once in a lifetime experience that is going to be standing out for me. Every part is made by someone and it is made by a student who may or may not be that good at rocket engineering at first, but at last when we fired the rocket, we could say we were one of the best student rocket teams in the world. We got uh, the runner-up for the 30,000 solid class, meaning the class we participated in. Uh, we came third overall. I think this might be the greatest achievement that uh, Propulse has done uh, throughout the years, getting third in the international competition with uh, 150 teams signed up. It's the people that makes the project as special as it is. Um, you don't make a rocket on your own, uh, you make it with other engaged people, um, people that wants this as much as you do, uh, that share the same interest and passion for space, um, and that wants this to be a success, and also wants to share this moment with you. So, Propulse, Project Peter Glan, the Spaceport America Cup, wouldn't have been anything without those people. Um, so, thank you to the team. It's, uh, it's been great.